Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Adrienne. So today I did a Thanksgiving inspired makeup tutorial. One of my lovely subscribers inboxed me and asked me to do a Thanksgiving makeup look. So well, here is an inspiration for a makeup look. For some, this may be like, oh girl, that's too much. Some people it's like, oh, that's pretty. But for me, this is what I just like to do. I like to get all dressed up to go sit around the house at, in my in-laws house or my family. I just, that's just what I like to do. Why do we do that on Thanksgiving Day to sit in the house? I don't know. I don't know. Probably because I like to go Black Friday shopping afterwards. I, I am a Black Friday shopper. I am in the streets on Black Friday. I'm not fighting nobody for no items, but I just like the rush, the adrenaline of Black Friday shopping. So I don't know. That's just what I like to do. But today I did a brown smoky eye for Thanksgiving. When I think of Thanksgiving, I think of a brown turkey. <laughs> so I decided to do a brown smoky eye today for you guys. If you want to see how I achieve this look, please keep watching. But don't forget that tonight, tonight at midnight, my giveaway ends. So be sure to enter my 5k giveaway because I will be announcing the winner on my November favorites video, which will go live hopefully on the 29th. So be on the lookout for that. If you want to see how I got this makeup look, please keep watching. Mwah. Bye. Wait, don't leave yet. Go watch the video. Why do I always say bye? Go watch the video. Okay. All right, so my eyes are already, our brows are already done. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids using this e.l.f. primer. So I'm going to just do one swipe, well, actually two swipes, on my eyelids and then just blend it out with my finger. All right, so once your primer is all balanced out, blend it out, you're going to take this Rimmel Magnify Eye Cold Pencil. One side is an eyeshadow and the other one is a coal. Um, I'm going to use the brown side because we're doing Thanksgiving. I want it to be a smoky eye. So I'm going to just apply this to my eyelid. And you want to make sure you don't bring it all the way up to your crease. We just kind of like do like a, a moon shape just on your eyelids. This is going to be the base for the brown shadow to really pop on our eyelids. So before that quickly dries, you want to make sure that you blend out the edges. So I'm going to just be taking this crease brush and just blending out the edges of this eyeshadow. Alright, so now that your the brown is set and of course it's blended out but it's, slop it's done sloppily. But it really doesn't matter because you're going to cover up the crease color with a crease color, a transition color. Yeah. So I'm going to be taking this Tarlet in Bloom palette. I love, love, love this palette. This is one of my newer palettes. But these are the colors that are in the palette. And then I'm going to take this pretty dark brown here. It's called Activist. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply that right over the lid base that we just placed on our eyes. So I'm going to just take this on a flat brush and just pack this all over my lid. It almost looks black, but it's not. All right, once you got your lid color packed onto your eyelids and you look like a raccoon, you're going to go in with your transition shade and I'm going to take these two shades right here and blend them two together into my crease. And the two colors is called Rebel and Leader. I deserve to stay and I okay, so next I'm actually working my way from the lid up. Usually I work my way from my eyebrows down, but I'm doing a reverse eye today. So next I want to take Sweetheart and apply this right above my transition shade with a fluffy blending brush. Just to kind of not have any harsh lines and to blend everything out. This color actually looks very very dark on my eyelid. So I'm going to take just leader and apply this right on top of that color because it's a little too dark for me. I almost look like a black smoky eye and I really want just a pretty brown. So. I'm going to try to warm it up a little bit with this color. Yeah, this is more brown for me. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the eyes. So I'm going to take a baby wipe and just wipe away all the excess. And then I'm going to apply my foundation and I'll be right back. All right, so I've already applied my foundation. I use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. I use two shades to try to get my color. This foundation is still a little, a little bit too light for me, but I mixed it and did the best that I could. So I do realize that, that, that the foundation is a little bit uh, too light. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about it. It's super thick, but it does conceal everything. So I do like that part about it. So now that my 
cream stuff is already done. My foundation, my cream contour, my cream highlight. I'm going to go ahead and set it with some airspun loose setting powder. Okay, so now that my eyes are, my highlight is already set. I just washed my brush, so my brush is a little deformed. But I'm going to take, I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit. And I'm going to contour my cheekbones. I'm going to set the cream contour with this powder contour using these two shades. There was a time when you had me fall into the ground. Alright, so I think that's it for the face for right now. I'm going to go back in and do my blush and my highlight a little bit later. But I'm going to go ahead and finish the eyes. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm doing to my eyes. Alright, so I'm going to take that same cold pencil and I'm going to use the brown side. And I'm going to water my... I'm going to water my waterline. I'm going to put this in my waterline for my eyeliner. And I'm going to also drag it a little bit below my lower lash line. All right, so now that my lower lash line is done, I'm gonna go back into the palette and take these two colors, again, my transition shade, and place this underneath my lower lash line. And you also wanna just kinda flick it up a little bit here to kinda create a wing. So I'm gonna just do that a little bit here. See the wing you kinda created? All right, for lashes, I'm going to go in with the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee as my eyelashes today. And I'll be right back after I apply these off camera. To finish off this look, I'm going to go back in the palette and use this shade right here, the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm going to set my, not set my, I'm going to apply this to my brow bone highlight as a brow bone highlight. And then you want to make sure that you always blend the two shades all together. And so my eyes won't look so dark, I'm going to add an inner tear duck highlight from that same palette using the white shade again that I used, my brow, that I used on my brow bone highlight. I'm going to apply this right in the inner part. And it just kind of opens my eyes up, make me look a little bit more awake. So you can see the, this, the difference on this side, it looks okay. And then this side looks a little bit more open like, hey, how you doing? Alright, for blush, I'm going to go in with this blush, e.l.f. blush palette. And I'm going to just kind of mix all the different colors in just to do my blush. And I always kind of start from the back and then work my way up. Because I really don't like that really pinky cheeks. I like the blush to kind of go with my contour. So, that's what I'm going to do here. And this color, this blush is very pigmented. To say it's $6, it's very pigmented. So to blend everything together, I'm going to use a stippling brush. This one is by MAC. It's a 187. So I'm going to just blend it like this so it won't be so dramatic. So we're pretty much done with the face. All we have left to do is just apply our lipstick. So I'm going to take the Milani Liquid Cream Matte Lipstick in the color Crush with my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. I'm going to line my lips with this lip liner. Oh my goodness, what would this look be without a highlight? How could I forget to highlight? Oh my gosh, who am I? For highlight today, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Glow Kit in the color Sun Dipped. Not the color, but the palette is called Sun Dipped. And I'm going to just kind of mix all these colors together just to give me a highlight. I mean, is that camera picking up this highlight though? Is it really though? Like, is it like, do they see what I see right now? <sighs> Girl! Make sure you set your whole face with a setting spray. I'm using the makeup, makeup, the makeup, makeup. I'm using the e.l.f. makeup mist and set spray. So I'm just going to spray this all over my face. 